Hey, what's up, Tempor family? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. As always, it is great to have you here. Now, let me start this video by asking you a question. If we had a food shortage in America or in the world, would you be ready to survive without any food for maybe two or three months? Do you have enough food stacked in your house to make it through maybe a, a temporary food shortage? The answer to that question, my personal answer to that question is no. I am far from being ready. I don't have uh, stored food away to make it through a lockdown uh, or a temporary food shortage. So for that reason, I've decided to come over to my local grocery store. Actually, I'm gonna make a few stops, two grocery stores that I shop from uh, to get essential grains and, and canned foods, canned goods to, uh, to just put away and store away in case we have a food shortage in America or in the world, which would be insane, would be crazy, right? So a few weeks ago, I came across an article by The Guardian in which the Gen General Secretary of the United Nations, Mr. Antonio Guterres, I believe that's his name, um, announced world leaders that there is a food shortage uh, possibly coming uh, worldwide. And if our world leaders don't get ready for this, don't prepare for this, it could definitely affect millions of people. So I read that article and I kind of brushed it off, you know, but it's been already a couple of weeks since uh, I read that article and I have to admit, I'm quite uneasy. It's just been on my mind for quite some time now. And, you know, it is best to take this warning serious and kind of get ready for it. And avoid the panic shopping that could happen if this alleged food shortage does happen, does occur. So, how do I prepare for it? What do I buy that could last long term in, you know, storing it away? So two items that I learned that are great staples to store away and are relatively cheap and can be stored away for a long, long period of time without going bad are uh, rice and beans. Combine, all the, combine these two items uh, make a great uh, meal with filled with calories and also protein so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and buy these two items just to get ready for this so here is the rice there's not much left as you can see it's Sunday today so maybe they had a sell or something but anyways uh, I'm gonna try to get some of this rice that it's left and it's 89 cents a pound so yeah let's buy some of that over here we have black beans these are my favorite these are a little bit more expensive they're 99 cents a pound and as you can see as well there's not much much beans left um, yeah this is uh, something to be worried about I mean So these are a couple of bags of rice and a few more bags of beans over here. This should be enough for this trip to the grocery store. All right, I got my grains. Now I'm off to my other favorite grocery store to get more essential food. Uh, canned goods and what else? Yeah, I think just canned goods. So I'll see you when I get there. All right, guys, I made it to my second store. So what I'm going to do here is buy water. I learned that the human body is able to survive for 40 plus days without having any solid meals, without having any food. And you must have water. So water alone will make you, will allow you to survive about 40 days or so. So yeah, water is king. It's essential and I'm definitely getting it. Okay, 
here we go here we have the pasta aisle and it's pretty cheap as you can see it's only 79 cents with a member's card and 99 cents by itself so yeah pasta is good it doesn't go bad you could store this away for a while and it's cheap and you can definitely make plenty of meals with pasta so sure i'm having pasta there we go and why not let's take another one okay so i got four packs four packs of pasta now it's time to uh go and get some tomato sauce which should be pretty cheap as well and here we have the tomato sauce this is one of my favorite uh tomato sauce for spaghetti uh this one has tomato garlic and onions it's chunky has a really good flavor so yeah i'm gonna get bought three i think four of these and they're only 2.99 so not too bad like i said these items don't go bad uh, quick you could store these away uh, without fearing that they're gonna rot or spoil on you so there we have it okay sauce my last stop it's gonna be here uh, at the tuna aisle tuna it's great it's a great source of protein and again you can stir it for a long time and it doesn't go bad do you guys recall back in 2010 when 33 miners got trapped in a cave in the country of chile they were underground for over two months and it was a miracle they were all they were all rescued they all survived and they tell the story how they they survived out of just eating tuna itself it might not taste the great uh the greatest and yeah it you might get bored of the same meal but when it comes to survival mode tuna it's great it's a great source of protein and like i said you could store it away for a very long time and it won't go bad on you so that means that your buck your money will last a long time and here are some tunas this is some large large tuna cans they're 239 each so i think i'm gonna take i'll take four four of these You know, it's hard to believe that there might be a food shortage in America. Right now, there's so much food in this grocery store. I mean, it's unbelievable. Every single aisle is stacked to its full capacity. But it's best to be safe than sorry, right? So I'm still gonna go on and do my shopping. But let me show you, every single aisle, it's nicely, nicely uh, packed with all kinds of food all kinds of products and check this guys out this is all the canned goods they have all the canned goods plenty of food plenty of food it's i don't know if i'm doing the right thing or not i'm getting i'm getting uh having second thoughts but i already committed to doing this emergency prep um system so i'm gonna stick to it Hey, we even have plenty of toilet paper you see that plenty of toilet paper so if you think that's essential go ahead and stack up while there is some available i got plenty at home so now i don't consider it to be an essential item All right, mission accomplished. So what do you think, guys? Do you think 
do you believe that we will have a food shortage in America, in the world? Do you think that's possible? I, I honestly, man, I really don't know what to think. Um, like my gut instinct, it's just telling me get ready just in case. But you know, going into the grocery stores, both grocery stores, and seeing that there's plenty of food on the shelves, makes me a little, a little bit doubtful that a food shortage could actually happen. But like I said, it's better to be safe than sorry. So yeah, I think uh, I, I want to be safe on the safe side than on the sorry side. So anyways, going back to the uh, type of foods that I purchased today, uh, I purchased grains, which was the rice and the beans. I also purchased the pastas, which, you know, last a long time in the shelves, uh, stored away. I got some tomato spaghetti sauce. Uh, what else did I get? Uh, I purchased tuna. Tuna, it's a great source of protein of meat to uh, keep us, you know, sustained. It's great for our muscles. And again, it's you could start away for a very long time and your uh, items won't go bad. So um, I also got water. Uh, I'm trying to think what else I got. I think that was it. Um, so I plan to consistently, every time I go grocery shopping, to buy a little bit of food at a time and store it away. Uh, my goal is to build a three month uh, food supply so that in case there is a second wave of the coronavirus uh, and a second shutdown that I am ready, that my family is ready and protected with uh, essential food meals. Um, and hey, who knows, maybe there is, God forbid, but maybe there will be a, not a food shortage, but maybe a distortion to the delivery system that might delay certain food items to come to our you know to our local grocery stores so yeah I could see long lines and uh, a little bit of madness um, you know at the stores if, if that does happen so anyways do you guys think uh, there will be a food shortage or you think I'm exaggerating and we're fully stacked and none of that's gonna happen go ahead and leave your comments below and uh, like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Thank you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.